Hi, welcome back to the Gabster channel. My name is Gabby and today we're going to talk about bass. We're going to talk about 10 different tracks that are going to help you with your speaker placement or subwoofer placement. These songs could possibly help you with moving your speaker around so you can get the best bass out of your speakers or even maybe do some room adjustments so you get some more bass from your room. Let's face it, room is as equal as the speaker. So don't assume because you can't hear the best bass of your speakers, that's definitely the speakers. Buying another pair of speakers may not be the solution. It could be, but often speaker placements first is going to be your first uh, mission into getting that ultimate system. The 10 tracks can be a lot more if you guys can participate and with your help and your comments. So the more you can comment below, the more we can share more tracks and the 10 tracks could be hundreds of tracks. So if you could please comment below on what you think is a good, great bass track that you like. Uh, try to keep them not too popular. The less popular they are, the better because then we're discovering something new. Also, if you've been around this channel and I would love if you could subscribe, I'm trying to promote my channel a little bit further. So if we can help me push it up a little bit, uh, some extra subscribers would really help. Also some thumbs up would also help as well. Let's get going with track number one. Make Us Stronger by Vinnie VC. This song starts with a beautiful complex notes with great imaging. Pay attention to the S's when he speaks. But the actual bass doesn't kick in till about uh, 1 minute 10 seconds mark. And this is when it actually gets really going. Also around the 5.30 mark the song changes almost into a different song as well. Uh, this song is great for pretty much an overall bass and gets you a little bit an idea of how your system is performing with complex notes. Number two, Sound Test by Frédéric Mette. This is a French uh, artist, but uh, there is no uh, lyrics in this uh, track. Uh, the bass here is just truly amazing. It's basically some very clean bass and a clean note. Around 45 seconds you get those beautiful bass notes that are very fast. Also at some point gets very fast and this is when you want to see whether your speakers are keeping clear bass notes or are they muffling them all together. Your speakers should not be moving a lot even though this is very deep bass. When speak, when woofers are moving a lot, it's usually they're distorting. Uh, some of the best speakers will, could create some very deep bass without moving too much. They'll move a little bit, but you won't see the big uh, vibrations and stuff like that. Number three, Bass I Love You by Basstronics. This track is really, truly amazing. It can go very, very low. So if you want to test your speakers, if they go really down to the 20 mark, this track is going to do it for you. Between 10 and 20 seconds, it go down to really close to 20 hertz, if not lower. Uh, so pay attention to that segment. This is when you, if you have things that are sensitive in your place, you're going to feel them vibrate and tremble. But you should really feel that rumble. If you don't, means your speakers are not going down that low. Number four, Black Lotus by Walton. The song starts quietly at the beginning and then around the one minute mark, this is when it gets going, but actually it's more like a rumble. So we're not talking about a lot of bass here, but you'll hear this rumble. So this is when the notes go super, super low in the 20s and or 30s and they're very low and you should feel that vibration. If you don't feel it again, same thing means your speakers are not going that low or they may be going that low and you have some interferences. Uh, you could be the placement issue that you're getting some waves conflicting with each other and canceling each other. So sometimes don't always assume, oh, my speakers don't go that low or something. Often it's, unfortunately, it's a speaker placement 
or the room itself. Some rooms could give you a lot more bass, some give you, some will suck up, suck out the bass. Uh, and it depends on how far in the room you are. So you might feel that the bass is high in here, you move like five feet forward and it might be stronger. So this is a good way to actually move things back and forth. But I do have a song for you if you wanna do truly speaker placement, so stick around. There is one exactly for speaker placement. Number five, Christos Anesti by Nenad Vasilik. This is a truly natural bass. He's playing the, or she, playing the uh, bass instrument and uh, you could hear the plucking on the strings and the bass goes really low. And, but this is a true bass, not like the uh, synthetic bass. What you're looking for here to feel the notes, you should feel the decay of the bass notes and feel the different timbers and the notes. So it's not just one note, you'll feel like a variation of the same note. And that's what you're basically looking for. Number six, electrified. This is a second version by Yellow. Uh, there is a first initial version, but this is version two. Uh, version two, it, it's very similar to version one, but it's been remastered and it's got some more echo, more bass, more out of phase. It looks, it really gets your system going. If you really want to showcase your system, this song will has a little bit of mixture of everything that will get your system really singing. And sometimes we always try to upgrade our system, but sometimes all you need is just to play better quality music on your system and you could save yourself a lot of money that way. Number seven, Celestial Echo by Malia. One of my favorite artists, the first 30 seconds goes really, really low. I'm guessing it must be sub 20. Things to really start rumbling around. Uh, even though you think you've secured everything, you start to find things that are not really secure. Especially if you crank the volume. Actually, I'm talking about the volume. It's very important when you're listening to these songs to you have to raise the volume a little bit more than your average listening position. Back to the uh, bass part. So it really does go low. So this is probably of all the songs I would say is this passage is about the lowest that you might experience in terms of uh, the, the lowest frequency. Barely by Liz Wright. This track starts with a big bang. It's like really beautiful and the, the frequencies, the bass goes super, super low, probably the lowest that I've heard. And uh, you will really feel things rumbling if you don't have things secure enough. I think I always thought I've secured everything and I start hearing things sometimes shaking when I play this song, especially at high volume. And actually most of these songs, probably preferably it's better to play them at slightly higher, higher volume than normal. But like I said, the beginning is like truly something. It's just not just beautiful deep bass, but it's very clean bass. Also her voice is really great. She's probably one of my popular favorite artists, especially when it comes to uh, very well recorded music. Her entire album is actually truly beautiful. If you've never uh, checked her album, it's truly amazing to check all the, all the different tracks. Next, we have Slam by Pendulum. This track starts in a mixture of different you know, voices and different type of instruments, but around uh, the one minute mark, it really, really picks up there. This is a very complex track, so it's very important to, it, it really helps you basically analyze, see how your system can handle complex bass passages like that. Number 10, Sweet Jezebel by Turbo Weekend. This is a track I was telling you about earlier. If you really want a track for speaker placement, this is the track that you want. The reason is it's repetitive and it's always the same repetitive bass note. It's deep enough. It's probably like your most common bass that you're gonna, you're gonna hear. It's like, I would guess probably around 50 to 40. And uh, 
it may not be the deepest bass, but it's repetitive and it's probably the one you want to test your speaker placement with. So what you do is you play this track and because it's repetitive, you've got lots of time to keep things, to go, move things around, sit down and listen and, and check things out. And sometimes you could try it the other way around. You can put, if you, especially if you're using a subwoofer, you could put your subwoofer where you are listening and you stand where you want to place it. And sometimes that tells you where you want to place your subwoofer. Uh, the other way around, you basically move it around forward and back and you keep listening till you hear the bass uh, level that you like. And so the rooms will go up and down. So you're going to feel as you move it, the bass will go up and then will go down and then up and it'll go down. And so it's up to you to decide where you want to place that sub or probably multiple subs. Like always, I always add a couple tracks just in case my selection wasn't the greatest for some of you. Uh, let's face it, we are all different. Uh, we have, have different tastes. I try to select music that is not super popular. I'm sure probably you've heard half of these before, but we're all different and some of you may not have heard certain tracks. Nocturnal Adventure by Marianne Herzog. This track is super, super high resolution. Like if you want like the cleanest uh, track, this is one of them, but this is in a different way. It's purely clean, very, very nicely recorded. It uh, picks up around the 15 second mark and it's just, a beautiful track. If you want to showcase your system, this is one that you can play to really uh, show your system off or just plainly enjoy it for yourself. Last, but one of my absolute favorites, Crystal Ball by Carolyn No. This is a truly, truly beautiful song. Uh, not just her voice is amazing, but everything about it is beautiful. The bass is beautiful. And it's, this is probably not your deepest bass, but the bass quality is just second to none. And uh, sometimes when we talk about bass, we don't always talk about, you know, bass like 50 hertz and low. Mid bass, for example, is also important. And this is when you can check the mid bass quality of your speakers. Also around the 50 second mark, she starts singing and she says, I see. So check out the S in the IC and see how clean it is. If your system is not rendering it in a very, very clear way, there's something not right with your high frequencies. And also the piano notes, they're deep piano notes or like mid bassy piano notes, but also the way they play and how clean they are this is another clear example on what a truly clean song should uh, sound like. And lastly, I want to say a couple of notes about if somehow you guys have been uh, watching my channel for a little bit, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel uh, take off. I'm trying to get it going a little bit further if possible, but I need all of you guys support. If you happen to like this song, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, the most importantly, I like to hear your feedback. So if you have songs in the bass department, they're not too popular that you think they're great, please share with us, share with all of us, basically. You're not just sharing them with me because we're all gonna read those notes. And by reading the notes, we're gonna get more than just 10 tracks. We're probably gonna get 100 tracks. So the more comments we, I get, the better it, it will be and the more we can all share this experience. If you are interested in some more music, uh, maybe not bass, but like in general, I've had a few uh, videos done. I'll put a couple of them in the corners above. Uh, check them out if you're interested in getting some more cool music to listen to that's not too popular. Take care and I uh, hope to see you again.